Good day friends, welcome back to Coinaz. In this episode we are going to look into some exquisite US coins that make big money at auctions held by Heritage and Stax Powers. Hit subscribe button below this video and let's get started. Starting with this multicolor 1976 D. Eisenhower dollar. In 1976, to celebrate the American Bicentennial, special reverses were designed for quarter, half dollar and a dollar and each denomination bore the dual date 1776-1976. For the Eisenhower dollar, the Liberty Bell was superimposed over representation of the moon. Two different hub styles were used to coin over 100 million pieces. The Type 1 features large flat letters, while the Type 2, as here, features thinner, more angular letters than before. Over 82 million were of the Type 2 reverse. Seldom do copper nickel clad Eisenhower dollars displays the superb multicolor toning that adorns both sides of this gem. Shades of burnt orange, deep rose, antique gold and blue gray are all very much in evidence. This beautiful and expertly preserved coin was sold for $1480 in 2020 at Stax Powers. Here is uncirculated 1942-41 Mercury dime popular mint error at mint state 60. As always, the overdate is unmistakable. Perhaps the best Philadelphia mint employees went off to war and left an inexperienced team behind to produce this famous mint error. Russet brown freckles congregate throughout the margins of the satiny key date dime. No high point wear is apparent, and abrasions are surprisingly insignificant. Sold for $2,300 at heritage auctions. This 1959 Jefferson Nickel at Mint State 67 was full steps. Full step is a grading designation used for circulation struck Jefferson Nickels, which have at least five full steps visible at the base of Monticello on the reverse. So the designation is used to identify coins which have been fully struck. The 1959 P. Jefferson Nickel is fairly common issue for the Jefferson Nickel series. It's very common in most grades except in MS65 and higher where it becomes scarce. In MS66 condition it's very difficult to issue with less than a hundred or so known. With full steps it's even more difficult with about 50 examples or less known in MS66. In MS67 it's extremely difficult to locate and less than a handful are known. Sold just a couple of days before on November 22nd, 2022 for $2,520 at heritage auctions. Here is 1972 Lincoln sent with double diverse, graded at mid day 66 red by PCGS, provided with CAC sticker on a holder. The 1972P double die Lincoln sent type 1 is considered one of the major varieties in the entire Lincoln series. There are over 10 different double dies for the 1972 Lincoln Sand, but only the Type 1 is considered major. The 1972 double die Type 1 can be easily identified, as it has strong doubling to the southwest on all four digits on the date. The word Liberty is also doubled towards the south. The words in God we trust on a verse are also strongly doubled towards the east. This variety is very popular and it's also strong enough to see very easily with the naked eye. This splendid error penny ended up selling for $1,260 on November 22nd, 2022 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this 1932 D. Washington Quarter at Mid State 65, lightly toned gem. The Denver Mint inaugurated Washington Quarter production in 1932 with limited delivery of 436,800 pieces. Although the S Mint from this initial year was produced in smaller numbers, 32D has long been considered the more challenging coin to locate in better mint state grades. Gems are of the utmost scarcity and importance, this high grade representative is untoned save for few whispers of pale golden tinting here and there. The central devices are boldly detailed and the only abrasion of consequence is located on the Washington's neck. Sold on October 22nd for $8100 at heritage auctions. 
1919, buffalo nickel at mid-state 66 were rare at high condition. The uniformly razor-sharp strike on both sides of this coin set it apart from the vast majority of mid-state 1919s nickels extant. Also of note is the surface preservation, which is nothing short of extraordinary. Full satin luster is retained, the appearance smooth, vibrant, and further enhanced by lovely lemon yellow and pale rose iridescence. Easily among the nice examples of this challenging issue offered by Stax Powers. Sold in 2016 for $82,250. This is nearly flawless 1941 Walking Liberty half dollar. This absolutely magnificent 1941 half dollar combines superior eye appeal with a world class surface preservation. Small circles of brilliance in the centers are framed by iridescent peripheral toning in gold, violet, and lime green. Intense setting to softly frosted luster remain fully undisturbed, and the strike is sharp. This coin is truly impressive when examined at any angle, with or without magnification, with a sizable mintage of 24 million, 192,000 pieces. The 1941 is one of the most available circulation strikes issued in the entire Walking Liberty series. Indeed, mint state coins are readily obtainable in all grades, up to and including MS66. Beginning in MS67, however, the issue becomes scarce and Ultra Gems at Midstay 68 are incredible condition rarities. Sold in 2021 for $50,400 the Stax Powers. Here is 1917 Lincoln Sand with double layer verse, graded at Midstay 67 read by PCGS. The 1917 FS101 is one of the most pronounced double layer verse varieties in the entire Lincoln Sand series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in motto. A beautiful, pristine example of this challenging rarity, the overall pinkish rose coloration reveals a shimmering gold iridescent at a tilt. The fields are blanketed by dense, matte like luster surrounding the sharp and fully undisturbed devices. Sold in 2018 for $84,000 at Stax Powers. This is 1965 Washington Quarter minted in Philadelphia. What makes this coin valuable even at circulated grade like AU is that it was struck on a wrong planchet, very desirable transitional alloy error. A cloud quarter weighs 5.67 grams, given the enormous and prolonged mintage of 1964 and 1965 dated quarters, it was inevitable that few 90% silver flats intended for 1964 dies were instead struck by 1965 dies. The present, partially lustrous example is untoned and lightly abraded. Sold on February 4, 2014 for $8,812.50 at Heritage Auctions. And for the last 1971 a silver Eisenhower dollar at mid 65 struck 25% of center and with clash die error, struck widely of center toward 913. Most of United and One are absent. The date and mint mark are complete, but the other obverse legends are not fully struck. Struck from clash dies with the outline of Ike's head prominent on central reverse field, and the first U in Unum clashed on the verse east of E in We. Lustrous and well preserved with delicate powder blue chestnut gold patina. Sold on August 26, 2022 for $9,000 at Heritage Auctions.